So he can break it down for us. But before we do, I just got a question for you, man. Where were you born and raised? Washington, D.C. Okay, so what, so what, so what, pray tell is wrong with you, man? I don't understand. Why and how can you like the Cowboys being from Washington, D.C.? Explain well, that. Well, we all know that D.C. stands for Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's basically it. I mean, you know, America's team, this is the nation's capital. D.C., Dallas Cowboys. Okay, so he said that he felt that he was compelled by outside force, and then he was talking about how everybody, you know, has a sense of humanity, and everybody has to be treated equally, so he feels for the people with conditions, with cancers, and stuff like that, so he wants to basically cater and care for the whole community as one, because, and then I went into depth about how I felt like me and you were blessed just talking <coughs> on the phone to be equipped with all of our, you know, essential functions and all of our senses, you know, we didn't have to be equipped with all of that, you know? Right. So that's when I can understand where he's coming from. He wants to help anybody who has cancer or near it or anybody who has family members so we can run for that cause or walk Participate for that cause. in this kind of project with the cancer wall. Does it come from those kinds of relationships well, with your community? Well, it comes from a teammate that's on my team as well as those things that you've added. Um, she's actually here with us. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let her tell her story, but it comes from that. And I'm inspired because of that. Um, it makes me, I care about people. And when you're around me, I'm, I care about you. I mean, I care about people in general, but when you're in my immediate, you know, when you talk and I see what you're going through, I feel that that energy feeds me. When you look at people's lives and you look, you can really, their struggles. So when I hear this, and her sister works with us, mm -hmm. and we can hear these, hear these stories, mm -hmm. and you can look at Facebook, and you see these things, you gotta do something. Mm -hmm. My mom was a victim of cancer, mm -hmm. so I see the pink ribbon, but what she went through, we don't see the ribbon as much. I don't feel there's nothing I can't do with the help of God. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, when I see that, I'm gonna start putting energy into that. So this walk, it's, it's, it's major and it's something that's not going to just be once. Mm -hmm. It's going to be annual. And we're going to, we, we set a small goal of $5,000 to raise and we're going to push for that. So next year it'll be $10,000. It may seem unreal, but it's going to happen. So the whole Bryant team, just so I can explain, the Bryant team is actually affiliated with Exit Elite Realty. So I'm not the actual broker. I'm a team lead under a broker. So the entire Bryant team, it's about 10 or 12 of us, it's, it's like we all have committed for the month of September. If we meet somebody, if we, we sell a house in that month, we're giving a portion of our commission to St. Jude's. That's what we chose to do. Are, are they walking up steps? That's all I want to know. Like we had to do to get here. Are they walking? Are y'all walking up steps? Well, we're gonna try to avoid that, but if we have to to get with, get to our goal, we gotta take the steps. <laughs> he reminds me of a football coach that used to just make me do all kinds of stuff I didn't want to do. Go ahead.